Welcome to 5minutetutorials.com. This tutorial is being recorded in Adobe Illustrator CS6. We're going to be working with our swatch uh, palette today. Uh, the default swatches here are not my favorite swatches, but a couple of interesting that you things that you should note. It does support actually uh, color swatches. Uh, there are some gradient swatches right inside of here, as well as some uh, texture fill swatches. So there's a variety of swatches that you can actually learn and create, and that's going to be beyond the, the scope of this introductory uh, lecture. Now, uh, what I want to show you is, uh, it's very intuitive, you can just actually select a color. You can also mix your own color, for example, going into the color picker, just navigating around and creating a new color. And just click the new color swatch option. It's going to pop it up. The default naming is typically the CMYK value of that color. and It's going to be a process color as opposed to a spot color. Um, you may recognize spot colors by a brand called Pantone. So. The process color means that if you export this out, it's going to create uh, four different plates that will be used in creating uh, that color in the printing process, the four color printing process. Whereas if it's a spot color, um, that's just one printing plate, which means that there is only one ink bottle. That's that exact color. Um, for right now, we're just going to leave it a process color. You click OK, and it actually adds that particular color there. Please note that you can just drag these around here and uh, reposition, rearrange your palettes as needed. Okay? You can also uh, create a color group by clicking the folder option there and create from selected artwork or selected swatches and then now you see we've got this uh, particular option right there and we can drag and add colors and create your own color groups there. Okay? Now there are a couple other options here like you can go in and hit the uh, swatch options Okay, that brings up that individual swatches options there, the one that is selected. And you can also uh, go right here and show the different kinds of swatches. Okay, so color gradient pattern or color groups. Now the uh, cool thing that I like using is this actual library here. And the library has a whole uh, bunch of different collection of uh, swatches here. For example, under kids stuff here, it loads up a new palette which has like kid friendly colors for it. Uh, it is uh, kind of difficult uh, picking uh, good colors at times, so they just created a bunch of different ways to actually pick new colors there. So you can go through that, you know, whether it's nature and the beach, for example, and you can see uh, these are kind of beach themed colors there. There's a whole variety of colors available via the library. Uh, under color books, the library color books is where you'll find all of your Pantone books. So be sure if you're using a Pantone book that you do find the correct, uh, whether it's CMYK, uh, whether it's a uh, solid coded or process coded, uh, find the correct color book that, that you are using uh, and make sure that you reference that. Uh, and I'll just go to the, for example, the solid coded. And you can see here that it does pull up all those uh, different ones there. You can just type in the uh, the Pantone color that you're trying to locate and it will find it for you. You can also view these uh, by name if you know the actual, uh, I'm sorry that was sort by name, but you can also view by uh, by name. You can view them as a list here. That's all in the panel options. And You can also uh, view large thumbnails so it kind of makes it easier to see there. Uh, obviously you have a lot to scroll through. If you hover above and don't move your mouse it'll give you the pop-up of the actual Pantone that you're on top of. So there's a variety of ways of actually working through all of this here. And you can actually toggle through your swatch libraries this here as well. So that's a little bit about uh, all the different swatches options that you have. Be sure to click that library panel and go through all these other ones. Under other library, we'll finish off with this, you can actually load uh, libraries of swatches that uh, you download from the internet or that you create yourself. They should in general be a .asc files Adobe Swatch Exchange files. Uh, those tend to work best, so export your colors from Photoshop or InDesign and bring them into Illustrator. That's it for today. Thanks again for watching. This is 5MinuteTutorials.com, and we always appreciate your referrals.